for a small museum to take on that challenge uh, is admirable. The Earl of Abergavenny was one of the East India Company ships. It was one of the biggest of the ships. They came down the channel and they passed the Portland Bill, headed out into the Atlantic, and the, the weather got worse. The gales were blowing from the southwest and it was badly battered and it sank in Weymouth Bay. We used to come down here and dive and trying to document it. And that's resulted in thousands of objects from this one wreck coming to the surface. That collection has now come to Portland Museum and Portland Museum have taken on the challenge of curating and looking after that collection and telling the story uh, of the ship and the people that are on board that ship. It's a Heritage Lottery Fund project and the idea of the project is to update and develop digital skills um, for volunteers in the heritage sector. The project was divided into, th into really three elements. We intended to uh, train 40 people in doing digital uh, imaging of artefacts. Today we are teaching and running a 3D heritage recording workshop for volunteers of the museum. You want to try to keep an even distance between you and the artefacts. So just start playing around with it now. We'll, we'll get to any questions that arise. And... It's a flexible recording method that uses photos to essentially record an object in three dimensions. Almost 100% of the technology I'm looking at today is for the first time in my life. I was doing it with ink pens and rulers and set squares and things 30, 40 years ago. And now to see this, it's just amazing. We're very lucky to have a trustee who's an archaeologist and that's worked for the National Trust for many, many years. And she's taking the condition assessment training. It's the bit between digging the stuff up, finding the stuff, and then it going on display. It's all that research, all that care, all that work that we have to do after. You can use that training for every other object in the museum. I thought it was a good opportunity to actually get you know, hands-on with the artefacts maybe and, you know, just get more involved really with what's going on. It interests me and I, I'm looking forward to learning more. It's going well, but we're now discovering smaller items are even trickier than the bigger items, so that's another learning curve. And today we've been making 3D models of artefacts. This is a dead eye. We took loads of pictures of each side of it from every angle um, in this lovely light box so you can see all the textures. And now we can upload this onto the internet and everyone can see it. Being in school and being a teacher, I've been thinking of how to use the 3D scanning and imaging. I now have the confidence to go and teach um, younger people, my friends. But this project is not just 3D photography. We also um, are accessioning them in um, yeah, yeah. a database. Um, so they all, every object has its own number, so we can identify it and keep track of all the objects coming into the collection. And we're also doing condition assessments, so that involves measuring the artefacts, um, stating what kind of damage there is, if there's any conservation that needs to happen. This is one of the first um, pop-up museums that we've done featuring the Earl of Abergavenny collection and it's been better than we could have possibly imagined. My favourite is the eight real coin. It's a piece of eight. And I was so excited when I realised that that was what that was. I was leaping around the museum going, pieces of eight! <laughs> we've got activities for very small children, right through to adults, everyone in between. We're here to talk to people. Um, we've got diving equipment children can help try on. We've got family foreshore packs that so people can go out on the foreshore and try and be an archaeologist for the day as well. And we've got simple things like making badges. But the hope is that people will go away from today and they'll really start to think about what is underneath the water and actually start to value heritage as well. Understanding the past I think is really, is really important. Um, and I think even just on an individual level, understanding where you come from, understanding your experiences in life dictates how you become an individual that you are today and obviously shapes your future. The most fascinating thing for me um, was learning about John Wordsworth because he's actually buried in the church a minute away from me and I didn't even know. When you're at home a lot of the time you can get a bit isolated and I think this connects you back to society and, and to, to meet new people who've got a similar kind of interest to you. 
There was an enormous um, interest from the local community in this project because of the, the location of the ship that went down and its relation to all the other ships. It's a connection that um, it just kind of makes our surroundings closer to us in a personal way. Well, it's tremendous potential. I mean, I can see that obviously everything we do here today can be linked to larger central museums such as London, whatever, and then can then be spread out to other areas of interest around the country. It's the persistence of the volunteers and the enthusiasm that's driven it forward.